Hi everyone, it's Lisa with InkandInspirations.com. Thanks for joining me today. In this video, we're going to be making a card with the Lift Me Up bundle and the coordinating up and away thinlets dies. I'll be using three of the die cut clouds and these two hot air balloons. Now I've done the die cutting already to save a little bit of time. Just wanted to show you the dies that I use. So I'm gonna move this out of the way and show you the cut pieces of cardstock that we're going to need. All right, I have a Pacific Point base, cut at four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half, and we're going to fold that in half for a, um, a tent style card base. I have a piece of the designer series paper stack. This is the Pacific Point Diagonal Stripe. It comes in, this is the, come in the Bright Collection. And this is cut at three and a half by five and a quarter. I have a piece of watermelon, watermelon, watercolor paper cut at three by four. And for the hot air balloons, I used a piece of crumb cake, probably about four by four to make sure you have enough room for the thinlets stamped in Pacific Point and Cherry Cobbler. And then I cut these three clouds out of the Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer Paper, and I have a three inch piece of the Whisper White Pom Pom Trim. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to use my Aqua Painter and the Pacific Point stamping pad. I'm gonna pump that lid and open it up and squirt some water because I want it pretty diluted. I want it to flow easily, I guess is what I mean. Not really diluted, but flow well across this because it's just gonna be a wash, okay? So I'm just going down and I usually put it a little darker at the top and then come on down lighter at the bottom. No two cards are the same, and that's fine. It just makes a really pretty background. Okay, so we're going to set that aside and let it dry just a little bit. And let's go ahead and assemble this part of the card. I'm going to attach the designer paper on the base, and I'm just gonna put some liquid glue around the edges and put that just like that. There's a smaller border top and bottom with a wider edge, about a half inch on each side of the design paper. And you might ask, how did I decide on that size? Well, I had a long strip already cut at three and three quarter and I just went for it and it looks fine. Gives you a little wide border on the side there. Okay, this is drying nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over and apply the mini pom-pom trim. I'm gonna use some tear and tape and apply it right along the bottom edge. Tear it off that end. And then when I pull off that paper backing, it's going to leave a wider than I need of a strip of adhesive, but it's going to work okay uh, and be just fine when I put it on the card. So I'm gonna line up the edge. And like I said, this is a three by four piece of watercolor paper. So a three inch strip of this pom pom trim works just great, okay? So now, let's go ahead and apply that to the card. And so, since I have the tear and tape at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and put a strip across the top and peel that paper backing off. And then let's put it right here. And again, I'm centering it top and bottom, side to side. There is, on this particular piece, a wider border of the designer paper at the top and the bottom than on the sides. Okay, now what I want to do is I am going to stamp my sentiment right here on the designer paper in the left bottom corner, and I'm going to use Pacific Point again, 
and this says sending smiles across the miles. You could use any of the sentiments that you want from the set. You would just stamp it and then adjust your balloons accordingly. As long as it's not any wider than the three inches, you would be fine. So I'm gonna put this right down here. And that's good. Looks pretty against that blue watercolor wash. Put that ink pad out of the way and now let's get our clouds on here. So I like to uh, scatter them and look at the placement before I actually adhere them down. So I'm going to do like that. And let me go ahead and get some liquid adhesive and put that down. It's going to be okay if the balloons overlap. And I love using this glimmer paper for these clouds. I've done made several cards and used the glimmer paper and it's just so pretty. Okay, I'm going to do just like that. All right, so now let's decide how we're going to put our balloons. I think I'll do that. And this one down here. And that works out just right. Okay. The adhesive, I needed to press down a little more. You know, the Tombow takes a little while to dry, which is a blessing a lot of the times when your positioning is not just like you want it. You have time to move it. But on the watercolor paper, it takes a little longer to set that I found anyway. So I'm just going to hold that there and then go ahead and put some more adhesive here. And let's overlap that cloud just a little bit. And there you have a cute card that you can sit, send to someone that lives far away. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and we'll give it a try. To finish out the inside of the card, I'm going to put a piece of Whisper White cardstock and maybe stamp some more of the balloons on the inside so it all coordinates. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure and visit my website at inkandinspirations.com and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.